Decentralized systems have been gaining more attention in recent years, and their impact on traditional financial institutions has been a hot topic of debate. Decentralized systems, or distributed ledgers, operate on a network of computers without a central authority. This creates a level of transparency and security that has attracted many businesses and individuals to adopt them for their financial needs. One of the main ways decentralized systems impact traditional financial institutions is through their disruption of the traditional banking system. With decentralized systems, there is no need for intermediaries, such as banks, to facilitate transactions. This can significantly reduce transaction costs and increase efficiency, making it an attractive option for businesses and individuals alike. Another way decentralized systems impact traditional financial institutions is through their ability to facilitate peer-to-peer -peer transactions. Traditional financial institutions often act as intermediaries, charging fees for their services. Decentralized systems allow for direct transactions between individuals, eliminating the need for intermediaries and reducing fees. Decentralized systems also offer increased security compared to traditional financial institutions. Traditional financial institutions are vulnerable to cyber attacks, which can result in the theft of sensitive information and financial assets. Decentralized systems use encryption and other security measures to prevent cyber attacks and protect the privacy of users. However, there are also potential drawbacks to the adoption of decentralized systems. One concern is the lack of regulation, which can lead to potential fraud and other illegal activities. Additionally, decentralized systems can be complex and difficult to understand for those who are not tech-savvy. Overall, the impact of decentralized systems on traditional financial institutions is significant. They offer increased efficiency, lower costs, and greater security. As more businesses and individuals adopt decentralized systems, traditional financial institutions may need to adapt to remain competitive.